had to control everything. I had to control it from beginning to end. I had to be able to manipulate it. I had to be able to figure it out myself. The level of stress that would occur whenever I would do that was just in, insane. I was having a hard time moving forward. Um, I was um, paralyzed by a lot of fears. I was uh, fearful of people. Um, I had a, a fear of rejection and abandonment um, due to my um, relationship with my dad. I was going through the motions as a Christian. I was living the Christian life, but not being the Christian. The real Denise had some ugliness in her, some things about myself that I didn't even want to know because I'd buried so deep. There, a lot of people have the misconception now that it's a drug and alcohol program and uh, that's where those people go. It's so much more than that. The people that come through Celebrate Recovery, the majority of them are Christian. They've been born again of God's Spirit. They love the Lord, but they don't know how to handle these hurts, these bad habits and hang-ups that they've had for years and years and years and years. Even though I was a Christian and I loved the Lord, I still had pride issues. I was still a people pleaser. I still was more concerned with what other people may think in opposed to what God would do. In the past, I've struggled with many different types of sin. Anger, codependency, looking at the wrong thing on the internet. Self-abuse, cutting, it could be self-hatred. Um, eating disorders is huge. We have times in our life where we feel out of control. Is there any hope for me? Or is this it? Is this as good as it's going to get? The Celebrate Recovery meeting is where I grow, it is where I really feel that I get spiritually connected. Because I know I'm entering into a place where there's no judgment, there's no condemnation. You work on whatever those hurt habits and hang-ups that you may have, you have a chance to work on them in, a, in an isolated situation. Everybody that's there is interested in working on that situation. We've seen people who came in that were so broken, so down, so hurt, and to watch the transformation is just remarkable. You're not here by accident tonight. You're here because God has led you here. And the message He wants you to receive tonight has everything to do with the hope that He wants to put in your heart. I remember the first time I stepped into a Celebrate Recovery meeting. I had all these walls up. I wasn't letting anyone in. I was fearful. The Lord just surrounded me with a small group of people that would not stop loving me. And it was different for me, but I allowed it. So the next morning I woke up to do my devotional and I just remember being so overwhelmed with thankfulness. That hole in my heart was being filled with something pure and holy. I'll never, ever forget that. And slowly but surely over this four year period, I, I have worked on my spiritual principles. The things that allow me today to be a better person, a better father, a better husband. What Celebrate Recovery allowed me to do through the love of Christ is deal with that person in the mirror and become the type of Christian that God wanted me to become. The more I look back, the more in awe I am of the miracle that, that God worked in my life. That person that walked through those doors for the first time doesn't exist anymore and she is firm in her foundation of who she is in Christ. She is fearless. We know for a fact you can have victory because we're experiencing it ourselves every day. So God wants us to celebrate the recovery that we have through our risen Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah.